Okay, you know I gotta bring it back, bring it back. But um, hoes are winning. Hoes are really winning. And sometimes I, I I look back on how things used to be, and I wonder what the fuck happened. The reason why hoes are winning right now is because we letting them. As ladies, we're letting them. When men dictate that the type of woman that they want is somebody who looks a certain way, who's going to do everything that he wants on their first date, and all y'all low self-esteem bras, y'all get on my nerves. And hoes are winning not because of what men demand, it's because of women succumbing to what men demand. So, the name of this segment is going to be Hoes will stop winning if. Hoes will stop winning if y'all would educate yourselves. Now, I'm not always talking about book sense because you got a lot of motherfuckers that, that know how to read and know how to remember shit, but ain't got a lick of fucking common sense. So, I feel like this. Hoes will stop winning if y'all will start acting like y'all have some common fucking sense. It's not that hard. It's, it's not that hard. If you know that he coming over your house at 3 in the morning, he not coming over there to get to know you. He trying to come to get to know you. Let me correct that. But it ain't the part of you that you think it is. And some of y'all motherfuckers, y'all, I swear y'all females, y'all get on my fucking nerves. Y'all think y'all can do everything with y'all fucking pussy. Your pussy is not special. When a man will take a glove, a, a jar or a glass, and some stuffing, and make his ass a pussy, your shit ain't special. Get over yourself, get a fucking life, and learn how to educate yourself and prepare yourself for life. You be sitting right here all the time, I want a good man, I'm a good man, but you done been with three guys this week? Come on. You're not even on the right path to getting a good man. So shut up. Get it together. Educate yourself. Start having a little self-respect. And find out what it is to get some damn common sense. Shit. Stop thinking that by watching these reality shows and acting and reenacting that shit in your real life is not going to do anything for you special. That's why hoes are winning. Because hoes got shows now. Hoes will stop fucking winning if y'all will stop wearing their goddamn uniform. Y'all walking around here half naked. I can see all your damn stretch marks. I can see camel toes and pussy foots. Your damn shorts is cutting up your ass. It don't make no fucking sense. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all in the club wearing shit that don't even match. You wearing spandex, leather, pleather, plastics, rubbers, and all kind of shit. And then wonder why. You better respect me when he says, come here, bitch. You wearing the uniform. Stop wearing the fucking uniform. And they might start looking at you like a grown woman. We got all these damn resources. We got the internet. We got the mall. We got these boutiques. We got we can get nice clothes from everywhere. But you choose to shop in one place and get one fucking size fits all. One size don't fit all. I stop whenever I see something and I pull out the tag and it says one size fits all, I put that bitch back because I know my fucking limitations as a big woman. Y'all need to stop being up in the club looking like the Pillsbury Doughboy because you got all these rolls and fat and shit and you done piled it all together and you done tucked it and sucked it in and tied it up and, and, and buckled down. Stop wearing the whole uniform. Give me a headache. Have some fucking standards. What is wrong with having standards? What is wrong with if a nigga come up to you and slap you on the ass, you don't tell the little nigga. Slap his ass in the damn face. Because so, <laughs> he got a nice car and a little money. What is 
the fucking wrong with you going out there and getting a job and having just as much as money as the dude that's walking in the club? He done been on the block all day selling weed, but you been at your job making fifteen, twenty dollars an hour, and you come up in the club and don't need him to buy a drink. Ever heard of that? Stop looking for love in the club. Love ain't always in the club. Sometimes the club is just meant to go have fun and leave that shit there. Stop acting like that is the place where you're going to find the love of your life. Hoes will stop winning if you stop promoting all these artists that don't do nothing but talk about your ass. You sitting in the club singing every fucking word for word. I'm going to get this. And he's going to stick it in my ass. And he's going to beat my ass. And he's going to fuck me all on the floor. And he's going to kick me out at four. Stop it. Learn a good R&B song that speaks about love and self-respect. And, and having a, a fucking clue. Y'all been been somebody's hoe for so long. That y'all don't even know what it's like to have a man come up to you and treat you with a little respect. Before you start calling him that nigga ain't shit. But the niggas that ain't shit, you're loving. And then when he treats you like shit, you're mad. And then we got to see your shit on Facebook. Niggas ain't shit. No, nah, bitch, you ain't shit. Hoes will stop winning if you stop hanging with them bitches. You know half your friends is hoes. You know, you, you, you know that Shaniqua been sitting on the phone bragging you all fucking week that she done sucked off some dudes. And you be talking about, girl, get your shit, get your paper, get your paper. That's why hoes is winning. They'll stop winning if you'll stop hanging with them kind of bitches. Unless you the same one. And then if that's the case, if you a hoe and you ain't winning, you ain't doing it right. But don't come over here with the folks that got some class and, and, and know how to act. Expecting the benefits of that. Don't be expecting no man that's going to take care of you for the rest of your life and love you and give you some beautiful babies and all this other stuff when you know you've been with three dudes last month. Get a life.